Good morning, everyone. I'm Tim, or Timun, and I'm here to show you today how to go and buy Foundry content on the Paizo website and how to activate it in your version of Foundry VTT. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Paizo website, which is paizo.com. Uh, when you show up, you'll see something that looks like this. The important places that we're going to look is here in the top left, where it says sign in. So that's something that we'll be using. As well, over here, we want to look at the store. So in the store, we want to go down to gaming and then down to accessories because this is where the VTT products are. Alternatively, you can just type and search for what you're looking for in the bar. But if you want to see all of the Foundry stuff, you're going to scroll down to VTT resources. That'll open up and then you can see a section for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. In Foundry Virtual Tabletop, we have the beginner box. So right now you see that the list price is $29.99. For the next couple of days, there is a $5 discount. This will get you the VTT integration as well as the PDF. Um, so you can click on it and log in. And so this is what it looks like. The next thing we can do is we can go to sign in and this will change things for us. So I click on the sign in. If you need to create an account, which you'll need to if you want to purchase content, you'll want to go to create new account. Otherwise, you can put in your information for a returning customer. And I'm just going to pause for a second and log in. So once I've logged in, it brings me back to the page that I was on. Now you can see instead up in the corner of saying sign in, it now says my account. Um, and then over here, you can see that the price for the beginner's box is now down to $10. Uh, I can go and now explore the page, the product page. Uh, you can see the information, you can see it's still reduced, and then I can add it to my cart. So I click add to cart. After a couple of seconds, it will say I'm in, it's in my shopping cart. So I can click on my shopping cart. Uh, that'll open up. And you'll see in here, items in my cart to buy now, Pathfinder Beginner Box, Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Fantastic. So let's proceed to checkout. So here you'll see three buttons. Um, first, items in my cart, what I would like to buy. Um, the be Beginner Box. Next, I'm going to go to Payment Method. I'm just going to pause yet again so that I can uh, block off some of my payment me method. But uh, once you click on the to button, it'll take you to this next screen. When we come back, you'll now see payment method. If you've already logged in and set up your payment method, the information will be in this, uh, the area right in the center that is all whited out. Um, if you have a promotional code or a gift code, because you've GM'd and Paizo has given you a discount, you can enter it at this point down in the bottom, the box in the bottom. Uh, otherwise, we're going to move to step three and click on place your order. Once we come back, you'll see that we're now on step three. It'll tell you what will happen. You'll notice that your information will be in the center box where it says summary, uh, a, a total, exactly what you're buying. And then we can just click the place your order button and it will make the order. We'll give it a second. And now we can see on our order page that our order has been completed. So now we can go up into my account and we're gonna look for our digital content. So now that we are in our account, you'll see right here at the top under Foundry Virtual Tabletop Other, um, there's the Pathfinder Beginner Box and below it, there's a serial number. Now I've got mine blacked out, but it is uh, a, an alphanumeric code. So right now you can just sort of select that code. It'll be, it'll start with four letters or digits followed by a dash, and then another four, and another four, and another four, another four, another four. And you're going to want to copy that value. So just select it all, right click, and copy. And, uh, and then we can proceed to the next step. So you'll want to navigate to the Foundry website. And when you arrive, you'll see the login site. Up in the top corner, you'll see login or register. Um, and on here is where you'll want to log into your Foundry account, which I will do right now. So once we've logged in, up in the corner, the corner will change so that it'll now be our username, which we can click on to get to our Foundry VTT account. What we want to look for down here is our purchase content. So we'll click on that button and we'll go to all the content that we have purchased. So once you've moved to that page, you'll get something that looks like this. In the top corner, you'll see where it says content key. You'll want to click in that box, right click and paste the long string of letters and numbers that you got from the Paizo website. Once you've done that, you'll click the activate content button 
and it should add to any other content that you have purchased on Foundry VTT so far. Now we want to start up Foundry so we can use our new content. Um, so open up Foundry, and what we want to do is go to the Add-on Module section. We will then want to go to Install Module, and for ease of use, we'll go to Premium Content, and in the top corner, um, we can type in the word Pathfinder, or for me, it comes up right here at the top. You'll see that ones that I don't own are not owned and locked, but uh, for the beginner box, I now own it, so I can just click the Install button. Uh, this will install it to my system. You can see the progress bar down at the bottom as it downloads from the, uh, the Foundry site. And so we'll just wait a second for it to install. So now that we have installed it, we can scroll down and you'll see it now exists in our modules as Pathfinder Beginner Box. Um, what we can do is go to our game world and we'll create a brand new world. Um, so we'll just title it beginner box. We will select the PF2E system and create the world. Um, so now we can launch it, log in, and we'll open up to an entirely blank brand new world. What we want to do is come up, we will go into uh, manage modules and we'll scroll down to Pathfinder beginner box. We want to toggle that on, save module settings, and this will force reload. What it will do is open up the beginner box. We can simply click on the adventure we want to uh, import, which is Menace Under Otari. Um, you can choose the options as you like. Just hit Import Adventure, give it a second to load everything up, and then you are ready to play. So I hope you found this demonstration insightful and helpful in purchasing Paizo content for PF2E on Foundry.